Hey Zdravo, Bord Petrlin here. I was away for quite a long time. My father passed away and we had a funeral like 10 days ago. And um, so this vlog will not be, well, it will be boring for most of you. Maybe you know that I'm writing a collodion manual, but I just don't, I don't want to take like three manuals that are already there and just write a fourth one or uh, should we say 16th one. <laughs> I want to do my homework. I want to do my research. The question is, what's the best way of maintenance? So all these three are coming from the same batch of silver and trade, of dirty used silver and trade. This one, I just filtered that um, silver trade. This one I boiled with boiled water and uh, sun it. This one I add baking soda, boiled it, sun it, filter it, sun it again. And this one is basically um, just fresh, fresh silver trade, and activate it with one plate of. Um, Okay, guys, if you, if you have seen my uh, video on um, maintenance of silver and trade, I was using a pH meter, but that pH meter, I gave up on that pH meter because it worked fine, but it worked fine only for a couple of times. And then, you know, 80 euros worth of pH meter was to throw away. I think I threw away like four of them already and I gave up on that method. Latmus paper, you know that, um, I don't know, it doesn't work. With silver trade, it doesn't work. Do you have a tip which Latmus paper or litmus paper, I don't know how you call it, uh, does it work? I, I don't know. For me, I've tried maybe five versions, uh, five, uh, even one of the really expensive one, none of them worked. But I have a solution. My solution is, <laughs> and this is, uh, this is the key thing about, about this manual that I'm working, you know, I will introduce my methods, my way of thinking. So, and you will be a witness. So this is the control batch, right? This is the untouched, fresh control batch. So my plan is to make a, a plate with that so everything works perfectly. And then I will, I will compare the same exposure, the same developing time, blah, 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 and so on, with this, this, and this. And this one, of course, has a higher pH. I will, it will start to fog, obviously. But I will add nitric acid bit by bit until the fog will be gone. And um, this is, the, the, this is the, 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 the plan for this vlog. <laughs> So 
basically this uh, civilian trade has a high pH. I have no idea how much, but it doesn't really matter. You, what you will see is just like fogging immediately. So um, at three, two, one, let's go. You see, three, two, one, it's ciao. It's black. <laughs> totally forked plate so what are we gonna do now what are we gonna do now first we're gonna focus okay my plan is like this the pH is now obviously way way too high and we're gonna lower it with a nitric acid we can also use acetic acid but nitric acid is the best uh, so but it's very you have to be very 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 slow like this one what we have here almost a liter I'm gonna I'm going to drop two drops Three, three drops. Okay, as you have seen, uh, the pH is really high and uh, consequently it's poof, it's just fogging immediately. So let's, okay, again, I'm going to use my uh, nitric acid. Again, I will return the silver nitrate back into the big bottle. And uh, I'm going to put, uh, what is this, five liters? Let's go with um, four drops. One, one, two, three, four. Four is enough. No, it's not enough. It's still totally fogging more nitric acid. That's okay. You know, that's okay. That's okay. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Kind of lucky. No. Ah, but still. Ooh, too much fog. Ten. Okay, let's see the results. This one are successful. Okay, okay guys, what do, we, what do we have here? This one is a reference plate. This, this plate is totally, with totally clean silver nitrate. This one is a dirty silver nitrate, but filtered and topped it up with um, Silvany trade, so 9%, both of them are 9%. As you can see, the, the whites here are much brighter than here. The sensitivity is higher with a fresh silvany trade. Much higher, at least one f-stop. Then we have, which one is this? And then, then we have just boiled silvany trade. And filtered, of course. So the sensitivity is about the same, but the uh, the whites are nice, silverish, much better than here. But the, the, uh, the sensitivity is the same. And this one is boiled with um, baking soda. And look at that. And the, now the sensitivity is the same as here. And look at those. But look at this. I don't know if you, have, if you see. These are really silverish. This is the silverish look, the most silverish look. This one is a little bit yellow. And then, you know, just to be absolutely sure, I made a second, another, another test plate, another test plate with a fresh silver trade, and it's about the same. You see the the baking soda beats them all. I'm not sure if you're going to use this knowledge, but it will be very important. But it's very important for, uh, as a research for my collodion manual. I think I know 
Now I think you also understand what will be the difference, what will be the added value of my wet plate collodion manual than in comparison to other wet plate collodion manuals which are great and uh, I've learned so much from them. But now I just want to do this way, like my way I want to scientifically test and see what is what and how one thing affects another and so on. Thank you for supporting me uh, by Patreon, by donating um, me uh, tips, uh, by buying my books and buying my prints. Check, this, check it out on borodpetrlin.com. And uh, my next vlog will be, well, it's winter, you know, how to do, what, will, what is the best developer and the process for winter, you know, to get nice, wide, bright whites and full tonality and so on. Okay, Hvala, thank you. Um,